Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of September 4th. We're just going to jump right in here, uh, Libra, and we are going to uh, see what is going on for you. We're doing a past, present, future uh, outcome reading. So you have this going forward in this flexibility card. Yeah, I mean, since the eclipses we had last year, uh, especially that Taurus eclipse, it was all about flexibility. I mean, I, I remember uh, doing the readings for that Taurus eclipse and uh, saying, you know, every single person basically had like a flexibility, accountability card, um, you know, versatility card in this deck here, which is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And so, um, you know, what I would say here is it's like clearly a time where we have to be flexible and we have to stay open to multiple ways of doing things. If we do that, we'll be very successful. And again, we're ending the Taurus Scorpio eclipse cycle uh, in October, starting in October. So, you know, it, like I said, it makes sense that this is coming up all of a sudden at this time for people. I also have the sense of like right place, right time. You have this serendipity card here. Uh, I'll show you this card, obviously, when we get to that row in just a minute, but I love that card. It is like the best card in that deck. But, um, it's almost just like right right place, right time, or you're in the right place at the right time in your life. And again, we're gonna have to, you know, see what is like what what is it, <laughs> obviously, but you know, I feel like you're kind of in this in a very good place. I feel like you're yeah, you know, it's like you're you're kind of like preparing for something serious is also what I'm getting here. You have the ten of cups, which could be, you know, it doesn't have to be love, but it could be. But um, I have, this is a pretty good reading here, Libra. And I have all these like weird words popping into my head where it's like you're you're getting ready for the big leagues and like those types of things are running through my head right now. So I feel like you're being prepared, um, you know, for something more serious in your life, especially with that 10 of cups. It doesn't have to be love, could be anything. And, you know, more importantly, you have the chariot in the world, which again, could be you being prepared for something serious. You have this going forward card and this flexibility card. So going forward, be flexible. I also love this go going forward card because it's like there's this sun over here. And so it's like you're heading towards the sun or the sun is coming up. But I feel the more flexible you can be, the better at this time. You have the th three of swords, the queen of pentacles, and the six of wands here. Uh, you know, some of you, this is your past position. So you could be healing from a heartbreak or a separation, or you could be overcoming something like a heartbreak or a separation here with the three of swords. And uh, I feel like you're focusing on yourself. It doesn't matter what gender you are, but you have the Queen of Wands here. Uh, Queen of Wands is about, you know, being very attractive. She is like the card of uh, seduction. And so she follows her, um, you know, she follows her feelings or, you know, she kind of does follow her feelings, but she can be very seductive. So if you're looking for love, I feel like you're very attractive at this time. Uh, I would also follow your feelings. She has a sunflower right here. Remember, we have the sun on the going forward card. The sunflower points towards the sun points towards your bliss, your happiness, your joy. And I feel you end with the 10 of cups, like literally right here, happiness, bliss, joy, <laughs> all of those things that I just said. So it's like, clearly you're going to be very happy as well. Uh, you have the queen of pentacles. Uh, every single person gets the queen of pentacles. I don't know, we're in a time of resourcefulness. I always just tell people, I don't care if you have a billion dollars in the bank account, don't spend all your money. Um, you know, it's just the time that we're in. It's a time where I believe we have to be resourceful. And you know, again, sometimes I believe that they're just energies that the universe wants us to work with. And it doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter how much is in your bank account. If you work with the energy, you're gonna be rewarded. So that's why I always talk about these things. People are always like, you always repeat yourself about the queen of pentacles. I'm like, okay, go waste your money. I don't care, right? But for the rest of you that are smart, then I feel you need to be resourceful. It's like, if there's an opportunity to buy something, is there a more resourceful way to do it? Um, and, but also your energy as well. It's like if you have a job or a business, are there points where you could be using leverage, where you could be um, not having to use so much energy to do something? Like, I, I don't know, <laughs> do, do your research, right? If you do your research, you will be rewarded with like more money, more success. You have the six of wands, money, success. Well, maybe not money, but definitely success. So uh, I feel there is a victory coming in for you. I also feel that you really feel like the universe is on your side right now. You know, he's sitting on this horse, this white horse, and the white horse represents assistance in the tarot, you know, and it can represent like spiritual assistance uh, or, you know, a person who assists you, whatever. And it looks to me like you are being assisted by the universe at this time. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, with the three of swords, you have the ace of wands, yeah, I feel like you're over it. <laughs> I feel like you could be, uh, there's definitely could be something new and passionate coming in for you. You have the Page of Cups uh, right here. So if you are looking for love, 
then there could be love coming in for you. I'm wondering if you're meeting a person in public. You know, like I said, I was hearing uh, right place, right time with that serendipity card and you have the chariot in the world right here. So you could be meeting, a, you know, this could be you, you know, if you want love, meeting a person in public. Um, I would also say this is a card of following your inspirations. The Ace of Wands is out with the old in with the new, but it's like a spark of inspiration. It's it's something that captures your attention. And again, we see that like throughout this whole, the whole top of this reading. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords. Yes, I love it. Two sixes. If you have been watching me for a while, you know I love two sixes together. Um, to me, two sixes is confirmation for your path. It says you're kind of going in the right direction. So it's just like, whenever that happens, it's just, to me, confirmation. With the Six of Wands, you have the Seven of Swords here. Um, uh, yeah, I would I would be careful of any liar, cheater, stealer. But again, that could be what happened to you in the past. The other thing I would say is that really, this is a card of tactics. He is normally the guy on the Seven of Swords is stealing the swords from an army in the background. So it's like he's going to war, but in a different way. And so it's like, you know, again, I, I was getting leverage. I do believe that we're in a time of leverage. So it's like, are there better ways to do what you're doing? Or, you know, are there more efficient ways to do what you're doing in your life so that you can be more successful? I, I don't know. Like I said, you're gonna have to look. <laughs> you have this uh, next in your present position, you have this come to the edge card. You have a serendipity card. The come to the edge card is like pushing yourself to that point where you would normally give up on something and then just going one step further. You know, it's not about like making some sort of huge crazy investment or anything. It's just that like one extra step, that one, you know, push forward or just going that one little extra mile to make something happen, right? So I feel for a lot of you that that's where, um, you know, this right place, right time thing is gonna come into place. Again, if you want love, it's like maybe you just don't want to go out, but your friends invite you out. I would like go because that, you know, that, that could be you pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. You could meet a person. Maybe you're going to a party or something. Uh, I also, this card is also like just very lucky. So, you know, she's being lifted up by a four leaf clover on that card. So it seems to me like it's a very lucky time for you. And, you know, I also feel that, you know, this is part of like the preparation. I was getting the word preparation or something. And again, when I put down that 10 of cups, I was like, oh, they need to be prepared for something serious. <laughs> and But again, it doesn't have to be love. The 10 of cups is just joy. And we see that here as well. Like I said, she has the sunflower. That sunflower points towards her happiness. I think something that always stands out to me with the queen of wands is that she doesn't have to know the answers. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you are. Um, she learns as she goes. So she, the sunflower, she knows she needs to go towards her son. And she just, it, even if she doesn't know what to do, she figures it out. She learns about it. So, you know, you're in a very empowered position. You have the chariot. You're definitely leaving something behind, I feel. You know, the chariot has that city behind him and he's leaving that city and that city is where he is from. And he's charging away from it <laughs> so that he, he's looking for a place where he can maybe be more successful, where he can, you know, be, he wants to set himself apart as well. So he doesn't want to be the same as everyone else. He kind of wants to go stake his claim, you know? And I feel like that's what you're doing is you could be setting yourself apart in a lot of ways and making yourself different or unique in some way. I don't know. That's what's popping into my head. You really could be working on yourself quite a bit here, Libra. So you know, all those things would be good. And you have the Page of Cups here. We go like this, Page of Cups world to the Ten of Cups. Um, you know, for a small percentage of you, I do feel <clears throat> that this could be a long distance connection, you know, obviously with the world, but it looks like it could work out. You have the Ten of Cups. For others, I really, for, for most of you, I should say, I feel like you could be meeting this person in public. So, you know, I would get out there, at, you know, I would make sure you're pushing yourself outside comfort zones, all that other stuff. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Five of Wands. And it's like battling with yourself, really, is what this is, you know? <laughs> is uh, Queen of Wands, she needs she needs to be confident. She needs to be bold and assertive. So it's like sometimes we have that battle on the inside where you know, it's like we feel like we aren't prepared or, you know, maybe we feel like we're not ready to do something or we're not sure what direction to go in or we're not sure, like, what we should be doing, right? <laughs> and so I feel like this is saying... Like, don't, don't shy away from competition or, you know, other things. Yeah, look, with the chariot, you have the five of pentacles. I was getting something about deep work, you know, on yourself, being confident and all this other stuff. Five of pentacles, the, to me, this says you are overprepared. And, you know, the five of pentacles is like calling attention to your weaknesses. So I always say that the solution to the five of pentacles is to focus on your strengths. It's like there are things that everyone is bad at. There are things that everyone is good at. So, you know, you don't have to be good at everything. And I, I really feel that here on the five of pentacles. Also, it would be a good time for you to be resourceful. 
With the um, Page of Cups, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, yeah, this could be a little bit slow moving. Uh, I actually don't feel this is a bad thing with the Page of Cups. Like if you're meeting a person here, it could be a Leo, it could be a water sign, it could be an earth sign. You have a lot of earth here, it could be a Cancer, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. It's like maybe it starts off a little bit slow or maybe this person doesn't just like rush in and rip their pants off, right? And, and your pants off. So, you know, which could be a good thing. You know, like I said, it's like, you know, maybe that's a bad thing when things move forward too quickly. And so I feel this is someone who's more patient is what I'm getting um, and who isn't just like rushing around. So there you go. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Uh, next in your future position, you have this cat. It says jealousy and gossip. You have the snake. It says desire and attraction. A lot of attraction going on here in this reading. So if you want love, uh, I like it. I also feel you need to move towards your attraction. Like I said, with that queen of wands, uh, whatever you're attracted to doing or um, anything that's like calling out to you, you know, anything that's capturing your, your attention, I would move towards those things. Um, there are going to be people who are probably jealous of you uh, right here. You have the six of wands. Six of wands can be a card of jealousy. But uh, do you think the fool cares? The fool, literally the meaning of the fool is that he doesn't have a care in the world. <laughs> he's just going on his journey. He doesn't give two you know what's about what anyone thinks. He's just, he's just going for it. So, you know, I wouldn't even worry or care about what anyone says or thinks or does about you, right? There's this dog right here and it represents companionship. And, um, you know, again, maybe it's like one dog. So I don't know why this is standing out to me, but it is. Um, you know, maybe you feel like you're leaving people behind or you only have like one person or two people that you can lean on. But again, I think those are your real ride or dies in life. And we're not talking about love here. It could be, but we're just talking about people in general. So it's almost like there are moments or there will be moments. I don't, I, th this reading is, I feel like this reading is like for your next six months. Like I know that this is a weekly reading, but <laughs> like this energy right here is something that you're gonna be dealing with for a while. I feel like you're seeing who the real ones are, you know, who your real, um, you know, tribe is, who you can really count on. And I would pay attention to that. Uh, you have the world. Definitely some big accomplishments coming in for you. Or there are, you know, I feel like there are big successes coming in for you with the world. So I love to see that. Again, like I said, I feel you do need to prepare for something more serious because, you know, this is a big new beginning. In the major arcana, we go from the fool to the world and then we start all over again as a fool. That is part of the fool's journey. You just, you, we are just always in the cycle of going through the major arcana. And so I feel that, again, you're kind of like getting to this next stage. You have the strength card, Strength is about having strength and determination. I kind of feel like you are determined at this time, Libra, to be very successful. Uh, I feel like you're determined to make things happen. And, you know, that's really what's standing out to me here with the strength card is that you are like you have a new sense of um, you have this like sense of energy in the future where you just set your mind to something and you're kind of going for it, which is great. <laughs> and, you know, again, I feel if you're not there, I would pu push yourself to that point where you normally give up and then like take a little step further because I feel that if you're not at that place where you're feeling like you can conquer the world, which is, that, that's almost like the energy that I feel like you need to develop inside yourself here. Um, what I would do is I would start pushing yourself outside your comfort zone just a little bit. It's like once you overcome one thing that you thought was impossible, it, even if it's just a tiny little thing, that, which is what I would do with that come to the edge card, then everything becomes possible. And I feel like you need to make that happen. With the um, with the fool, you have the four pentacles. There could be a fool from your past who's holding on to you here who feels left out in the cold. I really don't think you care, Libra. If I'm being honest, I think like you're you see better opportunities. I feel you see um, bigger and better things, bigger and better people. So, you know, there you go. With the world, yes, you have the four cups. I love this four cups. This is from the White Sage Tarot. And you can see those three cups pouring into one cup. So I really feel you could be attracting a person, um, you know, especially if you want love, where it's like they pour, they pour everything into you. You know, they really pour into you just in general. So definitely a very solid connection. Definitely could be a fire sign. But whatever, it could be any sign. Uh, with the strength card, you have the nine of cups. Yes, total fulfillment. So much more, fulfill it's, it's like, this is what you've held out for. <laughs> it, the strength card is a card of patience and like waiting for something. And, you know, the nine of cups is a card of total f f uh, fulfillment. If I can talk today without stuttering, probably not. Um, but what I would say is, um, you know, it's like, you've been wait. I feel you have been waiting for total fulfillment. So it's like, maybe you've been beating people off with a stick. You know, maybe you've been like, no, I don't, not interested. If you can sense that you're not getting total fulfillment. Same thing in work or business. You know, if you're doing things that are not increasing the bottom line, I feel you could be cutting those things out because you're very focused on uh, creating total fulfillment. 
Uh, at the end here for your outcome looks amazing. You have a Helm card that says take charge, responsibility, and leadership. You have a sand dollar that says manifestation, be open to receiving. Yes, you are clearly receiving a lot at this time. So again, I feel like you need to prepare prepare for greatness, pre prepare for something is what I was getting at the beginning of the reading. But I also feel you need to prepare for like a serious commitment, whether that's love or business or otherwise, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, this is what you are preparing for right here, 10 of cups, fortune after difficulty, happiness, joy, good things. But I do also feel like there are some very real world, you know, responsibilities and things that you're going to have to take advantage of as well. You know, these people, they're celebrating something that exists up here, but they're standing in the real world. They still have to deal with all the problems and challenges and difficulties of the real world. So it's saying to me, it's like, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? It's like you're getting something serious in your life. Could be serious connection. It could be, um, you know, a serious position in work or a business. But with that comes, you know, certain responsibilities. So, um, you know, I feel like the universe is giving you something because right place, right time, number one, like I said at the beginning of the reading, it's like you are you were in the right place. But also the universe thinks you can handle the responsibilities or you're, that you've proven you, you can. And so then you have to once you get it, right? <laughs> you have the uh, two of swords here. Uh, two of swords, everybody gets a two of swords nowadays. Uh, I think that the world is full of third place solutions. This right here is a third place. She's thinking like this or that, but there are so many, you know, there are other directions that she could move in to be successful in her life, but she just needs to make the choice to do it. Uh, and you have the Six of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles is a card of balance and a card of equal give and take. I do feel that you should kind of be looking at all the things that you do in your life. And I feel you need to make sure um, that you're getting balance out of them. You know, if you're like putting work into a business or whatever, make sure that you're balancing other areas of your life as well. But uh, let's see here, Libra. With the uh, Ten of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, I love when these two come up together. It's like kind of like everything you want and desire in your life. And like I said, this seemed like something serious. That was the word I was getting on the Ten of Cups. Uh, it, it's like a serious commitment. But I feel like it's serious as in, number one, it's good. But number two, um, you know, there are certain responsibilities that go along with it. So, you know, I feel this is something that's worth the investment. All these words are like popping into my head like that. And I don't necessarily feel it's an, a financial investment. I feel it's a, um, you know, like a time responsibility investment. You know, there are certain responsibilities that come along with what's coming in here. You know, if it's love, it's like maybe it's a very successful person or, or you know, who know, who the hell knows, right? What, what's going on? <laughs> who knows? Do I ever know? No. You don't watch me because I know what I'm talking about, right? But what I'd say is that there's like something there's something about it where it might require extra responsibility or maybe you form a family with this person, 10 of cups, there's extra responsibilities that go along with having a family. Same thing with a business. If you have a business or a career, you know, if you're making changes in those areas of your life, there, there's like more to commit to than just the thing that you're getting. I hope that makes sense. That's what I, I don't know. That's what's popping into my head. And the 10 of pentacles is a card of like ultimate success. So, you know, I feel there's like not only ultimate success, but long-term success here. Uh, with the two of swords, you have the Hierophant, could be marriage, um, but the Hierophant, you know, with the Two of Swords is needing to bring something down to earth. The Hierophant, he is the bridge between the heavens and the earth. He communicates with both sides and he can bring his, you know, those those heavenly ideas down to earth. So I feel, I feel that here, that you need to believe that you can manifest. You have this manifestation card. The Two of Swords is like not seeing that you can manifest something. And with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, you, you have a couple of pages, so definitely could be someone new. Uh, coming in for you. It could be also uh, communication from a person. I, mean, I kind of feel it's a little slow, but I, not like in a bad way. Just like, just, I don't know, maybe this person just wants to take their time or something like that. So I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Let's see. Uh, we're pulling five main themes. You have this, in, definitely trust your intuition. Very, in, We are in a very intuitive time. So, you know, I would trust your intuition. If you get a feeling about something, trust it, plain and simple. Uh, next, you have this riches card. Are you kidding? <laughs> I told you, there's like something serious coming in here. And, you know, this, by the way, is Saturn and Capricorn. So it is definitely work. Here's the other thing about Saturn and Capricorn is that we have to educate ourselves with Saturn and Capricorn. We have to learn something new or learn a new skill or something like that. So don't be afraid to learn uh, with this energy. Uh, next, you have this decisions card. Um, I feel like the decision has already been made. I feel like you already are. What was I looking at? There was something. I thought you had the seven of pentacles. I guess not. But, you know, I feel oh five of wands. You know, I feel like a decision has been made for you to move forward. Oh, and you have the two sixes as well. It's like you are moving in the right direction or you're moving in a new direction. And I feel like you've already made the decision to, to uh, you know, move in that new direction. 
Uh, you have this friendship card. I told you uh, that little dog on the fool was standing out to me. So I feel like you are, maybe you are kind of, um, you know, kind of only focusing on those relationships that really fulfill you or the people who have your back and you're seeing the people who don't and you're moving away from them. Uh, you have this convention card. This is like the only thing that'll keep you stuck. Um, you know, I always say that we're in a time of where we have to break free from convention. Convention is the way things have always been done. So we just have to come up with new or different ways of doing things and we'll be more successful. But this looks pretty good here, Libra. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.